Hey guys, this is David from Omega Engineering. We get a ton of questions about load cells, and one of the questions that sticks out is, how do I test for functionality of a load cell? Well, sit back, take a load off, we'll break it down for you right after the sweet intro. Maybe you have a load cell that isn't responding, or you just want to test a load cell before you put it into your application. Either way, you would need a multimeter and you would need a voltage source. In this test, we're going to be using a 10 volts DC power supply. And where would we be without a load cell? If you look in the calibration certificate that you receive with a load cell, you should see input resistance and output resistance values. Input resistance is the resistance across the two input leads that go into the load cell. And the output resistance is the resistance across the signal leads, the signal that comes from the load cell. So take your multimeter and measure the resistance across the two input leads. In this case, my input leads are red and black. And Set your multimeter to read in ohms. My input resistance should be close to 350.10 ohms, and I'm reading 349 ohms, which is fairly close enough. Now measure the resistance across your signal leads, which in my case would be across green and white. So according to the calibration certificate, it should read 351.70, and I'm reading 351, which is fairly close enough. So this indicates a balanced bridge. It's a balanced 350 ohm full bridge circuit. Since that is good, I'm going to supply 10 volts DC across my input leads. And now I'm going to measure the millivolt signal across my green and white wires, which are the signal wires. And I read millivolts DC. So if you look on the calibration certificate at no force being applied, you should read close to zero millivolts. So I'm reading 0.0. .0. Now, since I have a 2,500 pound load cell, if you look in the calibration certificate across your signal leads, you should read 29.983 millivolts. Since I do not have 2,500 pounds, I'm just going to simulate a small load using my hands, possibly 25 pounds or so, and you'll see a change in the millivolt reading. Now, if you have a calibrated weight source or a calibrated dead weight of half scale or full scale of the rated capacity of the load cell, you can apply that on the load cell to see if it matches the normalized data that you see on the calibration certificate. And there you have it, folks. That's how you test if a load cell is functioning according to specifications. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or call us for any questions. We'll be more than happy to help you.